So another stimulus check got passed on like what? He signed on like a Friday or whatever. My shit hit the next day, I think. Uh, so I feel like every time the stimulus check comes around, I'm in the first round of people who gets it. And this time I got that 1400 uh, quick as shit. Instantly had to go shopping on a Saturday. So this is what's behind me right now. I went to uh, Salvation Army first and then I went to Goodwill afterward. Had the whole day spent walking around and these are the tickets I ended up with. This is the Salvation Army one and here's the Goodwill one. You can tell the difference between the stores. Uh, at Salvation Army I got these four bags and these CDs and it was shirt. $19, shirt, $12, accessories, $1.99, bric a $3.99, bric a $1. So, total of $37.98 because every single clothing, god damn, every single clothing item was 50% off. So, I fucking love Salvation Army. Salvation Army is my go-to probably for thrifting because they're always cutting the deals and also... They always have t-shirts, I feel like. But Goodwill definitely wasn't lacking. Clearly I bought a lot of shit, but they just always charge a lot. And also like full price for a whole bunch of shit. I don't think I got anything that was on sale. Here's this. Total discounts, zero. Total, 202 74 cents. So, definitely paid full price for everything. Uh, that might that might be a first for me. Uh, <laughs> the cheapest thing I got, looks like, was probably a dollar. Yeah, there's one thing that's a dollar down here, and then one thing that's a dollar right here. And then, most expensive thing was 30 bucks, uh, it's a $20 one, that's the most I spent, but $202.74 versus $37.98, and the difference is all of this, which I will be going through first, since I went there first, and these three bags back here, so I'm gonna set this aside and go through all this shit. Alright, so the first thing I grabbed was these my girlfriend's car has a CD player in it, so sometimes when we hit dead spots out in the desert, since I live in Nevada, we need some CDs on tap, and we have, like, zero CDs, so I thought this was just 25 CDs. I thought this was a lot, like, big for 25 CDs, but turns out it's 25 CDs and 75 DVDs blank, so about to make some mixtapes. <laughs> uh, that was three ninety nine for a fucking... 100 discs, 80 minutes, and 120 minutes. That was decent, I think. So I also got two CDs for the car. Some very nice ones. Big reason why I wanted to start getting CDs like this, like actual CDs instead of just burning them on those discs, was these booklets have like the craziest fucking art in them and photos. Like this shit is crazy. Like, what is that, dude? This shit's insane. Coming 2000. So these were a dollar each, I think. On the way in, I think the first thing I hit was like the wallets and bags. I usually go around the border of the shops before I hit the racks, but first thing I found was this wallet, which kind of confused me because I couldn't tell if it was fake or if it was vintage as shit, but got $1.99, this Puma's wallet, like, this shit looks crazy as fuck, the crazy zipper, got like this logo I've never seen before, like that is an insane logo, very solid wallet. The tag don't say shit. This thing on there is crazy. Just sick little wallet to cop. So I got that. So I, I had the kids section and got a couple of small tees. So I grabbed this joint. Just a little old DC joint. 
Next thing was this crazy dyed kid shirt with a super crazy <laughs> color. Like, did not expect to see this in there. I have no idea how much any of this is since the receipt was so vague. Grabbed this little cheesy joint. Alaska Wild Gear. Nice brown halibut. Got another brown joint here with this super poppin' red tag. The little old element joint. Super soft graphic. The little sleeve hit. And there's almost always hella skate tees when I go thrifting out here. Got this little joint. I'm guessing that says silence. <laughs> Got this nice little diagram graphic. Just thought this was crazy. I've again no idea what I'm gonna use this with. I grabbed this super bright orange dare tee with the Reese's colorway. The really bold white with the yellow on orange. This might have to be a dye or something. So that was the first bag. I'm gonna do this one next. This one's just pretty basic. I think the tag said uh, 2013. Just regular fit Dickies, black jeans, super solid. I just thought this little back pocket was sick. That seemed like a good silhouette to work on, maybe cut up. I saw this windbreaker at fucking, I thought I was chipping because it was shining at me. It's Cactus Plus brand. I'm gonna have to look and try to find a year on this. Super sick windbreaker, brown zipper, quilted shoulder. Thought this one was way too sick to pass up. Just saw these and thought there'd be a, a decent silhouette to build on. No tag on her or nothing. This is just like in Japanese or Chinese. And then has this little metal zipper. It says Dark Horse on both sides. Has this little mesh knee panel where it breathes with this little head on there. So I'm gonna have to look into that, find out what Dark Horse is. Just thought this was a really clean pair of pants that I could use. I really don't know a lot about most of this. I feel like I was trying to search it as I was shopping, but most stuff was inconclusive, so I just had to buy it. <laughs> Grabbed this one because it was random, but it had a nice little wolf graphic like, similar to something I've had before. Wolves. Got another pretty random joint. It's no tag. I can't even tell what it is. Probably polyester, but it's thick as shit. Seems like it might be moisture wicking or something. Just a real tree camo. Now I looked in the tag and it said 1-800 Bass Pro on there. So, I don't know if that's their shit, but I guess this is a little Bass Pro joint. I feel like one of the most common things I see in the stores are khaki shorts, but I've never seen a pair like this before. I was just like rifling through them and I saw this little blue tag peek out and I was like, oh shit, I recognize that even though I've never seen a number on this type of tag from Nike, but like it's usually large, medium, or small. This is from Spring 15, I think it looks like. Basic khaki short, some zipper cargos, super deep cargo. And then with the little swoosh hit right there, super nice swoosh. Got the plastic buttons. Oh no, damn. It's like it feels kind of rubbery. It might be coated or something at least. That's crazy. The little back pockets with the flaps. And I thought this was sick. The little N on the belt loops. I've never seen that before. I don't really know why, but something compelled me to grab this drug rug. It's probably the nice little purple color. Sun Specs brand. No clue about it. Super pointy hood. I did not see that. That's sus. I grabbed this little jersey because the colors are sick. And then I saw this graphic on it and was like, oh, damn, that's kind of hard. But then I was like... I grabbed it and saw the eight on the inside. Realized it was reversible. And on the other side, it's just fucking, it's like something I'd pass all the time. This one was too sick to pass up. I am definitely not gonna find this anywhere else or probably find this again, but. By the time I made it around the store and back to where I'd started, this was on the return rack and it was just like so bright and it called me over there so I had to grab it. It's crazy that somebody had this and then put it back, but Jackaroo brand. Whatever that is, cycling jersey. It just says I ride like a girl. I have no idea why I got this, but I had to. I'm definitely gonna make something sick with it. I love the collar and the colors. The little cotton candy colorway. Proud to ride like a girl. You got the little zipper on the side. The California flag on it. It's just way too sick. Probably the favorite thing I found was this big blank, well damn near blank, American Chopper hoodie. I don't know what size it is, because the tag's too faded to read, but 
has a little arm hit. Super good condition, super good fade. And then this crazy ass back hit. Like, this is fucking crazy. And I don't even know how much I paid for it because it's just in the muddle of that pricing. Like, so sick. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but I'm gonna have fun with it. So this is what I got at Salvation Army for however much I spent, like 40 bucks. Took like two hours of shopping, maybe. Decent. So now we have the Goodwill trip. And I think like the very first thing I saw was the most expensive thing that I got. <laughs> so this is what I spent 30 bucks on. I have no clue what's up with them. Super blank boot, nothing on it, no markings really. Super clean wheels, like these might not have been used or possibly indoors if so. The stops are barely scratched, like, and all it says on it is roller derby on the bottom. And then underneath that it says it again, just the other direction. Super clean boot, and it just says size six. Uh, I can't read shit on there, but I researched it and found out that uh, Roller Derby is just an old brand that was found in like 1938 or some some old shit like that. But these could be vintage. These could just be some cheap skates. But either way, they're at least worth 30 bucks. So <laughs> they're like brand new, but old. And you see the wheels are like slightly discolored, but both of them are clean. This is the dirtiest one. <laughs> like, they're perfect. So here we got a big bag. I'm gonna start this off with this stuff. Looks like low rise, so probably women's uh, Nike sweats. The cuffs have ribbing on half of it and smooth on the other half. We got the kind of small swoosh and a super faded tag, but it has the little faint orange on there, so. It's probably a little bit older. All the tags are faded. And it has a super cool, has a super cool Nike zipper. It's like shaped like a, a, a Smarties, like a Sweet Tart Smarties. <laughs> I saw that they had a little bleach stain on them, so I figured I could try to bleach them and dye them. So that'd be sick. And I basically found the same version of them, but Adidas and like a windbreaker kind of material. And I had this super sick little line down the front. And has the front zippers the same with the super dark, the dark Adidas hit. And these seem to be something newer. I don't even think I've owned anything with this type of tag on Adidas, like even with this code. I've never even had that, but solid little like short leg, probably again women's uh, pant. I saw this was really sick, too good to pass up. Oh shit, I have the actual prices on all of these, so these were, yeah, I didn't get anything, anything on sale, so at this, uh, at the Goodwills out here, there's no sales tax, so this is... Five ninety nine. This one was fucking red tag, but it was only ten bucks, so that's not horrible. I got a couple red tag things, which I normally don't do, but your boy had money. <laughs> I got this little sliver of fabric, just floral. It's kind of shiny on it too because uh, I had unfolded it and read that. Designs by Janice Brown for Fifth Avenue Designs. Dye is pre-shrunk, protected with DuPont Teflon screen printed. And I've really been wanting to work with some Teflon material or Teflon coated material for some uh, some pants to skate in for a while since I worked at a, a, a hot air balloon place with Teflon materials. So I grabbed this and probably gonna put this on some pants and try to wear it down skating in them and got this for 250 or well, 249 or whatever got this little gray nike tee 
I saw this graphic and was like, damn, that's kind of sick. The little staff joint. <laughs> no idea what year this was. Uh, I would have to look into it, but I just thought this was really cool. Got for two ninety nine. This was another one I got kind of early on. Got this like greenish gray DVS shoe company uh, windbreaker. I personally haven't ever seen any DVS stuff in person or in thrift stores, but I thought this was super sick. And again, reminds me of some stuff from the, uh, the hot air balloon place because the ribbing in this, I don't know what material this is made out of, but it's sick and it's, it looks brand new. I'm gonna have to find out what, what year, or what season this was, but this is another one I had to cop. And this one was $12.99. Here's two pairs of shorts I grabbed. Uh, this first pair is Knightsbridge. I just thought these would be super sick to build off of because the pocket style and the color is sick. It has this little zip pocket with the tab. Then the single back pocket and the belt, a little belt detail. Then these green stretchy ones, which are super sick. The old OP Ocean Pacific. I don't even know if that can, if that's showing up, but Ocean Pacific has super sick button on it. Back when they were like super about their surfing stuff. But again, this one is super sick to build off of. Just two front pockets, one back pocket. Super nice color green. I got two rodeo shirts here. This first rodeo shirt has like the no flip down collar collar type. It has this crazy stripe going on the sleeve and the, the pocket flaps. Super clean, super basic. So if this is cotton, which it is 100% cotton, I very well could dye the shit out of this. <laughs> And that's gonna be sick. The other one has this super crazy bright design on it with this oh my god. Like this outline is so bold. And the way it goes from black to red is so sick. It's Express Rider brand. I was super surprised that it wasn't a a, a Wrangler Western, but Super sick. I don't have to do anything to this. It's perfect already. And then I got these two yellow shirts. This one, oh yeah, what was the price on this? Forgot this shirt was $7.99. And this one was $7.99. Then we got this $7.99. Uh, Bellows Brute. Le Garage. It says, um, expressly produced in Paris, made in France. I'm gonna have to find a year on this, but this thing was super sick. And like, this yellow color is so crazy. I normally don't like Paisley a lot, but just because this yellow is so sick and also the tones of these are just all so good looking together. I, I really like this. This other yellow one is $5.99. And like I said, I don't like Paisley, but I could not pass this one up. And again, it's a perfect yellow color, even though it's different from that one. It's so good looking. This super thin Ralph Lauren. Uh, I, don't know what year it is or anything, but it's definitely single stitched. I don't know if you can see through that or what, but I definitely can see through it. But this super crazy polo. It's so light. Definitely had to grab that, and I'm surprised it wasn't a red tag. Speaking of red tag, and also speaking of uh, Ralph Lauren, 
I grabbed this $20 one. This is the $20 tab on the ticket. Uh, this polo zip up. Oh my god. I did not even look at the zipper until now. This is fucking beefy. Oh god damn. It's a double one too. Oh my god. <laughs> So this is like a military type jacket. It's definitely lined with something because it's super heavy. It has the little arm vents, the the corduroy collar. You see how big this zipper is. <laughs> the zipper's huge. Got the little pockets. Blank back, uh, just has the little flappies. And then I saw on the inside that it has like a military style uh, print on it. And this shit is so sick. I actually have a, um, a Tommy Hilfiger vest that matches this exact style. So I might have to do something with these together. And then on the elbow it has this super sick diamond this one was kind of random but man this shit is hard this shit is sick as fuck man like this blue color is crazy this little clear patch is crazy fucking hanging cinch you see the back piece is mesh The whole bottom of the back is mesh. <laughs> like, got the opposite or the perpendicular stripe on it. You got the chest pocket. This piece is just super crazy. This one was four ninety nine. It was the second to last thing that I grabbed. I was on my way to the line, like I got in the back of the line, and I saw this, and I had to wait for. The, I had to wait for the line to move up like two inches so I could run and grab this because it was on the return rack because it didn't have a price tag on it. So it ended up being five ninety nine. but this thing is re-fucking-diculous. <laughs> like, I'm so amazed that nobody bought this yet. Like, this shit is bonkers. This is so sick. Jake, I'm, like, speechless about this one. For five ninety nine. It says small, but it looks like I could probably fit this, so... If I fit in this, I, I might have to keep this. <laughs> this is definitely my favorite one from Goodwill. Uh, in this last bag, I got some DVDs real quick. I grabbed a couple of DVDs to add to the home collection. Uh, I got Glee from a girlfriend. She asked for it. <laughs> got this single disc of Flavor of Love. It's disc two from season one, episodes five through eight. Has the episode with, uh, <laughs> with New York and pumpkin fighting. So that's a that's a good one to add. You got this crazy box of Mind of Mencia, the first season. You have to see what this one's about. But the packaging was just so sick. And then I I just finished the collection for this show, I thought, but this might have something extra that my three discs don't have, but fucking Best of Chappelle show, the top 25 sketches. It has all of this and more, plus Charlie Murphy's True Hollywood Stories, Rick James, with additional never aired stories. So this probably has some extra shit that my other three discs don't have. So the three discs I'm talking about is season one, season two, In season three of the lost episodes of Chappelle Show. And to top it off, I just finally found Half Baked after so long looking for it.
So I finally might have finished that collection. I'm going to have to look into that because I never thought to do that before. <laughs> but this is sick. A nice little selection of this. And then... Got this lovely Taz tie for four ninety nine. Super sick, super smooth polyester. Made in Korea. It says Looney Tunes Mania, nineteen ninety three. Crazy Taz. You have to find something out about this one before I think about cutting it up because it's a really nice one and I would love to give this to somebody. Okay, so this was definitely the last thing. Oh shit. So this was the last thing that I grabbed, but I'm gonna show this out of order. Uh, when I got to the checkout while the lady was going through all the clothes and scanning them, I saw these hanging and they're 10 premium collector's cards from series two, Harley Davidson and I thought this would be something sick to throw into my packages. Like, I could either sell the packages themselves or I could give away a single card in each package that I ship out. Uh, so I grabbed two bags of these. There's six packs of 10 in here. So I grabbed two of those. And just so I could see what they were like, I opened the pack last night. And in the back it says... Randomly chosen vehicles from 1903 to 1992. So, here's what these look like. So that's what these look like. Definitely gonna be a sick thing to put into the things that I ship out. And so this last group of things is something that I found uh, again as I went forward in line. As soon as I hit like the racks that guide the line, but also hold those last second things. I got a shit ton of tote bags, like. Somebody got rid of all of these at once, but these things are fucking crazy. Like, I never could have expected to just come across this. <laughs> like, double-sided. I don't even watch this show, but this thing was just, like, too crazy. There was a couple bags that I had to leave behind just because, like, I really don't know anything about them, so I figured I'd leave them for the people who do, but this one was sick. This one was crazy. Again, I have no fucking idea what this is, but it's big as shit. <laughs> but I do know what this is, and I definitely haven't watched it still. <laughs> like, this thing is crazy. Like, what, in, what am I carrying in this? <laughs> like, the ones I'm really hyped on are these rainbow colored ones. I'm gonna just show these one by one. They're so crazy. Like, these things are just so clean that I, I couldn't pass them up. I have no idea when, I have no idea who made these or what they're for or when they were made, but all the licensing on them are different. Like this one says 1994. But each of these bags was 599. This is probably the worst condition one, but it's literally barely scratched. But it has a stubby ash on it. I thought that was super sick. I don't know what most of these shows are, but like 2008, based on the Xbox 360 Blue Dragon. 2004, and this side has 1999 Naruto, 
That's 2001 Bleach. That's Slam Dunk, 1990 through 2008. That's Death Note from 2003. This stuff was just so sick, I had to grab it. There's two more, and there's a Bleach one with Inuyasha on the other side. And then I really love this one because of the color, but I don't know what this show is, but I know what this show is. I was super hyped to find this one, but again, I have no idea what's gonna happen with these. I don't know their story. So I have, I have some research to do, but that's what happened when the stimmy hit. 